Him the father and the son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this another opportunity, Lord, to gather here to learn your word, to study your word, to understand the secrets, the mysteries of your kingdom, Lord. You speak to us, you guide us, you lead us, you reveal to us. You give us the understanding, Lord. You make this teaching extremely simple and easy for us to understand, O oh Lord Jesus. But not only understand, but also to apply this word, this truth in our lives. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the word that you have given to us. And Lord, as we have gathered over here today, you teach us, O oh Lord, this word. You guide us. You make this teaching extremely simple and easy for us to understand, Lord, because, Lord, your word is what changes our life forever. Lord, we want to make the decision to believe your word completely because it is your word which is giving us the freedom, setting us free from every lie of the devil. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, our Father, for this new life, Lord, that you have given to us, that we are anointed to learn and understand your word and to apply this word also in our life today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for today's, uh, for, for as we have gathered over here today, we believe, Lord, that we are in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing with the right people, because, Lord, we have your word, your truth, living on the inside of us. In Jesus' name we pray, Abba Father. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Um, okay. So yesterday we were saying Romans chapter 15, verse 13. Let's go back to that scripture. Romans chapter 15, verse 13. Praise God. Romans 15, 13. And we'll read this in compare, okay? Um, okay, please God, see that. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace, peace in believing, that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Through the power of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Now see that in Mantra 5, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing through the experience of your faith that by the power of the Holy Spirit you will abound in hope and overflow with confidence in his promise. Overflow with the power of the Holy Spirit because the only power of the Holy Spirit can only come to you when you understand and you start making the choice, believing in God's word, which is what sets your life free. Praise God. Now, um, praise the Lord. So this, uh, this scripture over here, okay, is saying through the experience of your faith. So the only way we can have joy and peace in believing, okay, is through the experience of your faith, because of the experience of our faith. 
And what is this experience of our faith? This experience of faith is the experience where we understand God's word. And because of this understanding of God's word, we start corresponding with our faith to that word, which leads us to uh, the, the corresponding action, the believing, and that's when we will experience it. Now, uh, I like to read this scripture in the TPT translation, okay? It's written very nicely over there. I'll read it. Now, may God, the inspiration and fountain of hope, fill you to overflowing with uncontainable joy and perfect peace as you trust in him, as you believe in him. And may the power of the Holy Spirit continually surround your life with his super abundance until you radiate with hope. So here he's saying, now may God, the inspiration and the fountain of hope. God is the inspiration and fountain of hope. Okay, he is the one who gives you that, that expectation. He is the one who gives you that inspiration. He is the one who provides for you. He is the one who's with you. And because he is the one who's providing with you, here he saying he is the inspiration. He is the fountain of hope. That means what? God is overflowing with hope and he is ready to give that to you. Okay, to put that into your life. And he has already put that into your life. God has already given you the hope. Now, this hope can only turn to faith when you understand that God will not do something because God has already done. You know, the, big, the, the, uh, the only difference, the only difference between hope, faith is hope is having a desire, faith is having a desire. But hope is, I will be able to see that desire come to pass. Faith is, no, I will not, I will not see that desire come to pass because it has already come to pass in my life in the name of Jesus. And that is very important. That is very important. If I am not believing in the word of God, and if I don't start corresponding my actions to God's word, and then I will not be able to walk and to see and to live according to the word of God, which God has given to me. No. Because the only way I can live, be, be, uh, li live according to God's word, live according to God's grace, is when I start understanding that God's word which has been put in me is what sets me free, gives me the freedom from every lie of the devil. Every demonic lie, every demonic thought, every demonic stronghold, because today I am born of a new creature. I am a brand new creature. The old has passed, the new has come. And that's why he's saying over here, now may God, the, now may God, the inspiration and fountain of hope, fill you with overflowing, fill you to overflowing with uncontainable joy and perfect peace as you trust him. And may the power of the Holy Spirit continually surround your life with his super abundance until you radiate. Radiate with hope. God is telling us to radiate with hope. Does anyone know why? Okay, um, I don't know in India if you, most of the time we don't have these, but here we have something called radiators, okay? Um, those who are from UK will understand the heating, the central heating, okay? Now, when you have the, the, the when you have the, um, when you have the radiator, the heating, okay? What you will do, you'll put the heating on You'll put that uh, central heating on, and it is that central he heating that is what the radiators are warmed up. They are super hot, and they give uh, they, they, they they give um they they they, they give hot 
how to say it? it's just like an ac how an ac when you turn it on it will make sure the cold the, the, the room becomes cold enough when it's too hot in the same way when it's too cold the radiators uh, 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 they heat the room up okay they they, they radiate Okay, because of that central heating, that gas, they radiate, and that radiate is what heats, heats up the room when, it, when it's cold, when it's cold, okay. Now, in the same way with God's word also, the radiating, okay, with hope, you see that one radiator or that one AC will benefit the whole room. No matter how big the room is, if you have that AC on, or if you that have you if you have those radiators on one or two of them how many ever but if you have them on they will give they, they will make sure they will do their job of making the house super warm or super cold okay in the same way with god's word when i am radiating i am just like how when the radiator gives the heat it heats up the room in the same way when I understand the, 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 that God has put this hope in me. Now I am radiating the hope which is, which is now building up the people around me, which is giving them confidence, giving them the assurance to go, to, to, to go and to understand God's word. And it is that word which is changing their lives forever. is God. So God's word is being put in me and now as this God's word is being put in me it is because it is because of that word today we can live that life through the hope of the word of God because now God has put in our life okay the, the uncontained con he, he, he has filled us to overflow with the uncontainable joy and the perfect peace so that we can believe God now when we start believing God the power of the Holy Spirit continually surrounds our life with his super abundance not just abundance not just abundance not just abundance or natural abundance he said super abundance until we radiate with hope until now when i start overflowing with this hope that god has put in me this hope is what is going into others life and changing their lives and their lives is being a benefit to other people's life and those other people's life are being benefit to more people and those more people life are being benefited to more and more and more and more it is very simple it is like you know, you see, um, let's say you had an you 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 had an apple tree, okay. And all the apples are on the tree. And uh, let's say the person who planted the apple tree and all, they did not take the apples down. Okay. What would happen to those apples? Hello, anyone? What will happen to those apples? Now, no, no, no. Let's say, let's say a, a person took some of the apples, and some of the apples were there, and that person did not take some of them, and those and those apples are there for many days. You know what will happen? They will by themselves automatically. Um, they will detach themselves from the tree because now they are no longer dependent on the tree to supply for them because they're already supplied. So what they will do is they will detach from the tree. When they are detached from the tree, if somebody does not pick them up or if somebody does not um, collect them, they will fall to the ground. And when they fall to the ground, that food will rotten, that food will, that um, apple will um, decay, but you know what will remain? The seeds inside that apple. And it is those seeds now that when you planted, okay, when you actually did not plant, the apple fell by itself and the apple got covered because for so many days and so many months, so, so many weeks, that apple is just lying there. Now it started to decay and decay. And now the seeds are falling deep into the soil. And when a person starts watering the whole soil, now another apple tree will grow. 
Now, let's say uh, an apple tree is there. Then one apple tree can produce how many seeds? Uh, how many apples? 50 apples. Let's say 50. Okay. And each tree, each tree, each apple, sorry, each apple has how many seeds? 10. Let's say 10. Now, one, one apple can produce how many seeds? How many, how many trees? 10 trees. Then imagine if you planted, uh, if you planted the seeds of 50. So much. Uh, and if you planted those 50, uh, the, those 50 apples, if you planted them and, uh, and the seeds started to grow, the, all those 10 by 10, which were in the apple, they started to grow. Now, from every one of those trees will come more apples, more apples. So from one tree, if you have one tree, that tree, or, or if you, even if you have one seed, that seed has the power to turn into a forest. And God is saying the same thing in our life also today. When you are abounding in hope, okay, when you're believing with joy and peace and when that hope is in you, don't stop. Go ahead. The power of the Holy Spirit has been given to you. Now you're able to abound in hope. Now you have to just go and preach the word of God, give the good news, go and tell the people about the word of God. And that's when we will start seeing change taking place. Change taking place because God never, ever, ever, ever called us to live on the lap or to live without change. God told us to live according to God, according to his word. And what does his word tell us to do? His word is the evidence that today we can live without any thought, any lie, any uh, any 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 thought and any distraction of the devil because today we have the power we have the ability to live under god's word to live under the truth under the truth of god's word and that's why we are anointed to reach to the nations praise god so here he's saying may the god of hope Fill you with all joy and peace in believing. The word of God, the God of hope, fills us with all joy and peace in believing. What fills us? The God of hope. The God of hope himself fills us. And, and let me tell you the good news over here. The God of hope has filled you already with joy and peace. We no longer need to be praying to God saying, Lord, fill me with joy and peace. You know why? Because he's already filled us with joy and peace. You know what we need to do? Just abound in hope. Start believing with joy and peace. With that joy and peace. And we will be able to see the confidence in his promises. That abundance, the power of the Holy Spirit will just start overflowing. Because today I obeyed the system. So what's the system? Just understand God's word. Believe in the word. And start seeing that word change our life. Change our life. Praise God. So are you understanding? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. So here he's saying, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing through the experience of your faith that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you, uh, you will abandon, abound in hope and overflow with confidence in his promises. Today we are going to overflow okay, with confidence in his promises because today we ha may have made the choice to believe in Jesus to accept Jesus as our Lord, as our God, as our Savior. And that's why today we no longer need to live under lack of poverty because God has given us his hope, which is, uh, which is, uh, which, which is put in us, which is now helping us to live that life according to God's word. You know why, we, why it's helping us to live that life according to God's word? Because we are now anointed to walk, to live, to act, to talk, 
and to operate under the new life of God's word, believing in Jesus, because today we are righteous. We are righteous, we are holy, we are free. Free from what? Free from every lie of the devil. Free from every demonic thought of the devil. See, the devil will always try to tell you the demonic thoughts, try to make you aware of things that are contradicting to God's word. But just tell, tell the devil, devil, I'm not going to believe you because I have the God of hope who has filled me with all hope. And now today I have joy and peace in believing. That is what, that is what leads you to that place which God calls us to live. What was the place that God called us to live? That abounding in hope. Abounding in hope. We are called to abound in hope. And when we, when, when will we be able to abound in hope? Only when we start understanding and start believing and through faith because we know and we know that what God's word has promised to me, that what God's word has said to me is the word that changes our life. You know, whatever God's word has told you, just make the decision to believe it. Okay, well, well, well. And, and that's what changed my life. That's what will change your life as well. When the word of God is telling you to do something, just make sure you're believing it and say, yes, Lord, I believe in your word because, Lord, your word will never fail me. Let me tell you something. God's word, okay, God's word will never ever fail you. God's word will never ever fail you. You know why? Because today God has given us the same word which leads us to that place of prosperity, that place of success, that place of victory, which helps us to live that new life according to the word because we are now righteous with faith in God's word. So when we start believing in God's word, when we start understanding the word of God, and when we start believing in God's word, we will start seeing God's word change. We will start being being able to see the physical physical experience of physical life changing. You know why? All because of our faith in the world. See, anything, anything of God which you want to happen in your life, if you want something, if you want the manifestation of God to happen in your life, the one thing you need is faith. The one thing you need is faith. Faith in God, faith in his word. And God has given us everything that we will ever need to live that life with faith because now, today, we are a brand new creature. The old thing has passed away. The new things have come. And that is one of the reasons why we can walk, we can live, we can act, and we can operate under God's word without doubt. See, see, if we are doubting God's word, but if we are still saying that we believe, that, that means we're not actually believing or that we are not actually operating in that hope because the only way a person can operate in that hope is when a person lives without doubt and without unbelief. And is that possible? Yes, it is possible. How is it possible? Know the promises of God. Have confidence in the promises of God and you will start seeing the power of the Holy Spirit abound. You will be able to, you will start being, you, you will be able to see the power of the Holy Ghost abound, abounding in you which is what changes you and your life forever. Are you understanding? Praise God. And that's why now he's saying, oh, here, may the God of hope Fill you with all joy and peace in believing. Fill you with all joy and peace in believing. Praise God. So write down. Write down. The original system The original system
that we were created that we were created operate in the origin the original system that we were created to operate in was the system was the system of the spiritual senses was the system of the spiritual senses operating under the spiritual realm operating under the spiritual realm you know this this confidence which we receive in god's promises is all because we made the decision to walk under the spiritual realm not under the physical realm not under my flesh not under my senses but under the spiritual realm and that is very important understanding believing and operating under the spiritual realm because today if we have the ability to live under the word of god to live under the new ability of christ jesus under the spirit because today we are made the righteousness of god but the only way we can do that is by operating under the system of the spiritual senses praise god thank you jesus hallelujah praise god so did you understand that thank you jesus praise god okay um thank you jesus today we'll pray for those with um, any type of um, issue with uh, Um, the, the the person doesn't have the proper education they cannot read they cannot write and because and because of that they cannot get a job or they cannot um, get a good life we'll pray for those people thank you all lord thank you our father thank you jesus thank you holy spirit thank you all lord jesus for teaching us lord this amazing truth thank you all lord for guiding us leading us with your word Lord we make the decision to believe in your word because it is your word which is setting us free from every lie of the devil. Lord it is your word which is changing transforming our life completely. And we make the decision Lord to understand and to believe in your word. Because oh Lord Jesus your word is what is setting us free. And because of this word Lord we make the decision to operate under your word because your word is what leads us Your word is what guides us to that place of prosperity. Your word is what leads us, Lord, to that place of knowing you. Lord, we believe, Lord, that whoever is suffering with this has the mind of Christ, has the wisdom of God formed within them. They're getting a good job. They're getting the good education. They're getting the good life. They are able to do everything perfectly. Okay, and, and the people can't even tell that they cannot read and write because, Lord, uh, because, Lord, they are strong. with your word in jesus name we pray our father amen 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 praise god thank you jesus hallelujah okay praise god um thank you jesus okay um for, for uh, tomorrow um tomorrow we'll pray for those um, people with them um, uh the, the 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 sickness with uh, i mean the addiction sorry the addiction where they where they are addicted to alcohol or addicted to drugs we'll pray for those people tomorrow so if if you know anyone in your family or if you know anyone from anyone from your relatives who needs uh, uh, set free from this addiction or yeah you can tell you can give them the idea and tell them to come here tomorrow because we will be praying for those people thank you lord okay um okay um angelica is sharing a testimony in the chat uh the testimony that she wanted to share yesterday yeah um my dad overcame this god my dad overcame his allergy of prawns praise god um amazing angelica did he use any scripture did your dad use any scripture any scripture or any any prayer or any word
Yes, praise God. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise God. Okay, today we close with the ending prayer. Praise the Lord. Would anyone like to do the ending prayer? Anyone? Okay, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for once again teaching us this amazing truth, guiding us, leading us, revealing to us the secrets, the mysteries, the word of your kingdom. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us that today we are righteous with you. We have the right standing with you, that we are able to believe your word only through joy and peace. Help us, Lord, to walk under the, to operate in the spiritual realm. Give us that, you Lord, we believe that you have already given us that ability to walk, to live, and to, 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 to talk under the spiritual realm because today we are righteous with you. We have the right standing with you. We are able to operate with, with, with by believing in you. And we make the decision, Lord, today as we have studied your word that we are anointed, that we are prosperous, that we are successful to walk, to live, to speak, to talk under your word because, Lord, we have your word living on the inside of us. In Jesus' name we pray, our Father. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.